My name is Brittany Green. I'm with Easton's Angels. I am the president and co-founder of our organization. My name is Missy Hamilton. I am from Tomorrow's Hope Pregnancy Center and Thrift Store in Paris. My name is Brancy White and I am the Henry County Domestic Violence Response Manager for RAP. My name is Mindy Newman and um, I've struggled with postpartum depression, um, self-worth, self lack of self-esteem, and um, drugs and alcohol. As a child growing up, my, my mother was addicted to prescription pills. My father had struggles with alcohol. So growing up in a home like that, that, you know, drugs and alcohol were very common. And so unfortunately, I tended to follow that pattern and become somewhat of a product of my environment. I was sexually assaulted as a child and um, I was very angry. My mom died whenever I was 11. And so that pretty much turned me away from God. I didn't really understand why. So Easton's Angels is a nonprofit 501c3 organization. It is in memory of our late son, Easton. He was our oldest. Uh, we decided after he passed that we wanted to start an organization here in Henry County to help families with any critical or chronically ill children that they may have or if the time comes and their child passes, we can help in some way uh, help them. We offer any kind of counseling if you have lost a child or a baby. Anytime a child goes into the hospital, we try to help with care bags, we help send gas and food cards, uh, we pay for hotel stays, we help with um, any kind of medical equipment that a family may need for their child. At Tomorrow's Hope, we focus on crisis pregnancies and um, try to help those moms, but through the years we have adapted to the whole person. Anyone is welcome to Tomorrow's Hope. There's no income requirements, limits, maximums, anything. We, everybody is welcome in our doors. Anybody can just walk in and say, we need help. RAP works with um, domestic violence and sexual assault victims. Um, so we work with people who's been impacted by domestic or sexual violence. Uh, we do have two safe homes. Uh, we have a 24-7 crisis line. We link to resources. Um, anything we can do to really try to help is what we do. <laughs> Ten years ago, I was raped. I didn't know it at the time, but I was pregnant. Um, it wasn't from the rape, but like I said, I didn't know it, and so for the first two months, I drank during my pregnancy because of that. I drank to numb the pain, to not think about it, and um, when I found out I was pregnant, I stopped, but of course, I was still going through these things. There were times, and this part here, I hate to say it, but I have to say it because I know that there's people, there's women out there struggling with postpartum depression. There's women that are going to struggle with it that do not talk about it, that do not mention it. Um, I knew about postpartum depression, but I didn't really know about it. I knew what it was. But there, there were periods of time where I would leave my daughter crying in her crib for hours. I wouldn't pick her up. I didn't want to hold her. I loved her, um, but I, I can't really explain it. I just could not explain it and the thoughts that would go through my head. So what did I do? I went back to my old familiar patterns. I would start drinking, I would start smoking just to ease my mind and I would choose that over my daughter any chance that I got. Like I said, that pains me, but that's the truth. You hear these stories about mothers doing that and you just can't imagine. Well, people don't talk about what leads up to that. And unfortunately, it's some sort of mental illness, the postpartum depression, the hormones. And so I went to the doctor. And whenever I went to the doctor, she told me, or she diagnosed me with postpartum depression. <laughs> I thought I could have been here all along. You know, I felt all this shame and guilt from not going to the doctor. But, you know, she was just telling me and encouraging me that I need to let that go, that so many women go through this and nobody speaks up about it or nobody does anything about it. Um, they don't have people noticing the signs, you know, to now it's going to get better. Things are going to get better. And that's whenever I would say I've really started taking charge 
and understanding that it was up to me to take care of myself before I could take care of anybody in my family. Everyone deals with grief differently. Everyone deals with mental health differently. It was really hard for me after I learned about Easton's diagnosis and the prognosis of his life. And it was really hard for me to talk to people who may not have understood it. I feel like it was best for me personally speaking. It was best for me to reach out to someone who understands it, who not only has walked in my shoes, but has the empathy and understanding and the hope for the future of what's gonna come next. We offer something for anybody that is struggling. I'm here because I have a story. I suffered greatly with depression and social anxiety and things like that, and I've had the unplanned pregnancy. I've been that client. I know how hard it is to walk in the door. There are subjects that are very frightening, that people feel judged or that nobody's gonna understand. I promise you, we understand. The counseling that we offer really tries to help work through those emotions. You know, if anybody is going through an abusive situation or even if they're not sure, please reach out. I mean, that's something that we can discuss and talk about. Um, you know, we absolutely are here. We want to be here for you um, and just let you know that you're not alone. You don't have to go through this alone. We are here. My advice would be to seek help, especially for postpartum depression and depression. One of the most freeing things was opening up, just like I'm doing now, and sharing what I'd went through and being honest with people. Do I still struggle? Absolutely, I still struggle. But the way I cope is by reaching out to God, reaching out to others, um, but most importantly, take charge of your mental health yourself and seek help, whether it's a family doctor, an OB-GYN, um, anybody, a friend, find somebody and don't give up.